These are cherry blossoms under moonlight. And this artwork hangs on my wall as part of a cherry blossom themed apartment. That's right. I redid the place over to celebrate spring and welcome in spring colors. And doing this, I added some branches back here, white branches. And there's some pink branches back there. There is an official cherry blossom poster from the 2010 Cherry Blossom Festival. Now this next part is best seen with the lights turned off. I've added some pink lights over here and at night it really adds for a very very warm feel especially when there's snow on the ground. It's been snowing up until March this year so to see the snow falling behind these pink blossoms it just makes you feel like it's a little warmer out than it might actually be. These are really fun. These are actual cherry blossom lights. There is a yellow light inside of each one of these pink flowers. Now these are separate from these pink lights here which are on a pink cord and were not easy to find. They were made by a company called Designers Select. Now speaking of all of this color, I'm on my way right now packing to head to a cherry blossom festival and I picked out a bunch of clothes to go through and you can kind of see these are similar to how the blossoms start in more of a raspberry color and then as they open they sort of turn sort of a lighter color like this. Now all these different outfits, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I could figure something out here to make a a cherry blossom look bloom. Now who even knew that pants came in this color? Here's a whole bunch of jewelry also in the theme of cherry blossoms. Here's a cherry blossom pin I got at the uh, Cherry Blossom Festival of 2008. There is Paddles the Beaver whose theme is to not pick the blossoms. We also have a uh, a cherry blossom umbrella, backpack, and a collection of ties. But that was a lot. There's even some socks a friend of mine gave me. And they are in fact five petals on each, which would make them cherry blossoms. Now it doesn't stop there. The cherry blossoms found their way into the bathroom. I got some uh, branches in here. And then I found these pink shower curtain. And then I found this one. And look at all the color that has. If I can get these wrinkles out, I will indeed use this second shower curtain for the background of a photo shoot. Cherry blossoms continue with color and theme in the kitchen here. There's a cup also within the cherry blossom theme. Some cherry blossom water bottles. And the idea of making cherry blossom themed drinks even found their way into the kitchen with some pink vodka. These two champagnes are uh, also, there's a pink champagne. This one actually comes from Australia. Another sparkling pink wine. And some cherry infused vodka. Color continues in the living room. These branches here, actually from afar to me, look like the blossoms in bloom. And these little white buds on there really reminded me of, well, the flowers are in bloom. Back to Washington, D.C., these lanterns I picked up in the Chinatown area over by 7th Street and I. Also some coffee table books out in the theme of, well you got it, cherry blossoms. Here's a fun one, when you open up this book 
These are actual petals from the Cherry Blossom Parade. And some more literature. Now what does all of this mean? Simple. Winters are brutal in New York. Color, it, it lifts your spirits. And this would be my Cherry Blossom themed apartment.